Hello everyone, welcome to a new reading vlog. So I have a rule that I can't start a new reading vlog until I've edited the last one. So that's why there's like time jumps in between my reading vlogs. But today it is Saturday the 22nd of May. Is that funny? So I guess this reading vlog is going to go till the end of the month and then we'll start a new one once I've edited it. <laughs> edit, ed, edited, 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 um, ed. <laughs> anyway, this is a terrible angle with the sunlight, I apologise. Plus, Emily's fingerprints have been all over the camera lens. Okay, let's move this so that the lighting isn't terrible. Okay, so as per usual, there is no way I'm finishing my monthly TBR, but I do have hope that I can finish some of the books. So, I'll tell you what I'm currently reading. Uh, my current physical read is still Chain of Iron, but I'm actually pretty close to finishing this. I've got like less than 150 pages left. Probably more like 125 pages, I think. But yeah, I'm super close to finishing this. We'll probably finish it within, I'd say within the next five days. Probably less than that, but I'm saying five just to be safe. And then the audiobook I'm currently <laughs> listening to. <laughs> yes, it's so fun. The audiobook I'm currently listening to is Plain Bad Heroines by Emily M. Danforth. What is so funny? Is climbing the tripod so funny? Yes, it's so hilarious. Oh, I need to update where I'm up to because um, I've listened to more of it today when I took Emily to the park. But um, this was where I was yesterday, <laughs> if that helps. Oh, it's a tassel. So anyway, those are the books I'm currently reading. So I'm anticipating that I'm going to finish those within the next few days, which means I have to start a new audiobook and a new physical book. So, so the audiobook that I'm going to start next is Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. This is the Sanderson book of the month that Kara and I are buddy reading. So I've actually already started this. I've read six pages. Wow. Um, but I will switch to the audiobook, I think, because the audiobook is available at my library. So that's the next audiobook I'm going to start. And I think the next physical book I'm going to start is The Lost Book of the White by Cassandra Clare and Wesley Chu. She started saying mama, by the way. Yeah, so I actually started this last year <laughs> and stopped. So I'm going to go back and reread what I already read, but I only got 94 pages in the first time. I didn't DNF it because I wasn't enjoying it. I just stopped reading it because I didn't have time to annotate it with Emily. Uh, 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 dance, 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 dance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! <laughs> yeah, dance, dance. Yay! <laughs> yeah. She's so cute. She gets cuter every single day, I swear. Anyway, yeah, I'm really in the Shadowhunter mood. I really just want to get caught up on all of the Shadowhunter books. And this will be the last one that I need to read to be caught up. Because the next one's probably going to come out in September. So, yeah, I am not hopeful that I'm going to finish any more books than that. <laughs> and I might not even finish all of those. As you can see, this is still like books on my TBR that I wanted to get read. Well, these three weren't on my official TBR, but these three were. But you know, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Um, you will have seen my TBR for June by now, and I have cut my TBR down significantly, and I only have five six books on my TBR next month. So hopefully I'll actually be able to get my TBR finished for once. But for now, it's almost time for Amelie's afternoon nap. And I'm going to read Chain of Iron while she's napping. So she usually naps for about an hour and a half. So we'll see how much we can get read. Um, it does take me a little bit longer to read it because I'm annotating it as well. Woo! Amelie, how about we don't do that? So yeah, those are the reading plans. Uh, I don't really have any life plans. Catch you guys later. Also, Blackie says hi. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My skin is still atrocious. I don't know what's happening. Apparently, I am now a teenager. So it is Monday the 24th, and I just had to come on here because 
look what arrived. I am so freaking excited because the book in this box is one of my most anticipated releases of the year and I can't wait to see what's so funny. I can't wait to see what they've done with the cover and then we'll get into a quick reading update and then, <laughs> and then Emily and I are gonna go out to the park because it's her new favorite place to be and I love it because I can just put my airpods in and listen to my book. So if you didn't know I'm an Owlcrate rep you can use my code Maximus to get a discount on your first box. I, you guys know I love Owlcrate. Owlcrate's the best. Right Emily? So let's just get into where you go. Oh my gosh. What is this? Where's the spoiler card? Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, so the theme is expect the unexpected. Okay, so first we have something in a black drawstring bag. What is this? What? Oh, okay. It's a bag, but it is not your regular tote bag. But it says, may we meet again on distant shores? And it's got a zip with the Alcrate little thing on it. It's got handles and it's got one long adjustable strap. I really like this, like, a lot. <laughs> yes, I really like it. Okay, cool. And we can use this fun bag for something. We've got, um, it says Rule of Wolves on it. So, I don't know... Oh, it's by Out of Print. Out of Print is such a great brand. And each purchase made with them um, helps to fund yeah. literacy programs and book donations to communities in need, which is so awesome. So it is a scarf already. I'm like, this looks amazing. Look at this. We're all monsters now. Oh, I would just like hang this up somewhere like as a small tapestry. It is so gorgeous. Okay, next we have the next series in their collectible book tin series of the London's inspired by the Shades of Magic series. So this one is from the Library of Grey London. So it's grey. I'll have to get the other one out so we can see what they look like together. Look at that! Oh my gosh, it is so cool! And it has one of the most iconic quotes from the series in there. Oh my god, I just saw the cover of the book. I love it. Okay, calm, I'm calm, I am calm. Then we have what I'm assuming will be a bookmark. It's bookmark shaped. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. It is stunning. And it's like one of those metal, doesn't sound like metal, but it's metal with a tassel. And we've got a sticker that says most myths are just truths covered in cobwebs. I love this sticker. It is gorgeous. So the bookmark is inspired by Scythe and the fifth season. This is inspired by the Gilded Wolves. Then we have, oh my gosh, the most beautiful enamel pin. It says logic ends where love begins. Holy cow! And the book. Oh. <laughs> I actually love it. Like, <gasps> look at this. <sighs> I am like in awe right now of these beautiful colors. Holy moly, Emily! <laughs> so the book is The Ones We Meant to Find by Joan He. Wow, okay, so here's our letter from the author. I, I'm literally obsessed. I know, it's so funny. And the end papers. The original copy has these end papers too. Which I have the original copy so I can show you the difference. Oh, and the signature's in purple! Yeah. This is what the original cover looks like, which is still <coughs> absolutely stunning. But like, hello? Oh my god. Wow. Wow. And the spines. I love them both. Like... I think I'm just gonna have to keep them both. I think so. <laughs> oh, and the colors of the books are slightly different too. <gasps> stop, stop, stop. 
Oh my gosh, the original book. I don't think it has anything on it. No, it doesn't. But it's like more of a green. Oh my god. Our crate has outdone themselves, honestly. Oh, and these are the two tins side by side. So they're very matchy matchy. They're very matchy matchy. Oh, there's a playlist inspired by Lila Bard. And there's also a quiz. For, for which Barista Order you belong in, which is super cool. Um, but the theme for next month is Go Your Own Way. Um, I'm, I'm still in shock over this, honestly. It's so beautiful. I have to call Kara and Paige right now and show them. So thank you again so much, Alcrate. I love you guys. Um, now, my books. I don't know where I'm up to <laughs> in either of them because they're not here right now they're in my bedroom so how about I give you an update on where I'm up to when we come back from the park <laughs> okay we're back from the park the beauties are being displayed so it is time to do like an actual reading update and I got another package so reading <laughs> I don't know why Emily just thinks it's so funny whenever I talk to the vlog Maybe it's because it looks like I'm talking to myself. Is that funny? It's so funny, right? Okay, so for Chain of Iron, look how close to the end I am. I'm on page 545 of like 650. So I am so close to being done with that. And then Plain Bad Heroines. I'm this far through. So I'm on page 441. Hello, my baby. So let's open this. Who is it from? I'm not sure who it's from. But we'll see. Let's see. Um, hello. I was not expecting this. Oh my god. Is this Malibu Rising? By Taylor Jenkins Reid. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't expect that at all. So I think this is sent from Peng Penguin Random House. This is an ARC copy. <laughs> I literally just pre-ordered this the other day. <coughs> yeah, you're so funny. But still, I am like so grateful right now. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. Malibu, 1983. The party got out of control sometime around midnight. <laughs> A ravishing new novel of sun, surfing, sex, and secrets. Um, oh wow, what a great day this is. <laughs> so, I have like three hours left of the plain Bad Heroines audiobook. So, I'm going to try and get as much of that finished today as possible. But we'll see how that goes because when I have AirPods in, and if Emily spots those AirPods, she will stop at nothing to take them out of my ears. It's her favorite game. I just really have to get a move on with my reading because Kara already started Warbreaker today. So, <laughs> Emily is going through a phase. Well, I hope it's a phase. I don't really know what's happening, but some, some days she refuses to take her second nap. So that means I have no reading time because I go to bed when she goes to bed at night to get as much sleep as possible. So that's great. <laughs> so yesterday she didn't take a second nap. So she was awake for seven hours. Anyway, that's it. Goodbye. <laughs>
it's actually a few days later. Also, Amelie bit me twice. Anyways, um, yeah, it's been a few days because... Okay, I did, I did, I finished Chain of Iron. So, I mean, that's a good thing. It's over 650 pages, so I'm glad I finally got that read. And five stars because I love my babies, but this was like the most frustrating book I've ever read. I just, I wish the characters would just use their words and talk to each other. It would make life so much easier. But alas, that would make it too easy, wouldn't it? So, I am still listening to Plain Bad Heroines. I have no idea where I'm up to at this point, but um, I stopped reading at all because I started a new K-drama. This happens every few months. Um, I just randomly decide I'm gonna watch a new K drama and then it consumes my life until I finish it. I used to be able to finish K dramas in like a day or two. Now it takes me a little bit longer, obviously. So it's been a few days. I am in literally in the middle of the last episode. I am waiting for Emily to go down for a nap so I can finish it. But I started watching Crash Landing on You, which is so good, but so ridiculous. Um, just the premise is so ridiculous. So basically this South Korean woman is going paragliding when a terribly CGI tornado hits and she ends up landing in North Korea <laughs> and she falls in love with a North Korean soldier who's hiding her so yeah it's absolutely ridiculous I have cried so much while watching it it is so good the male lead is so handsome and it's just a great time but that means my reading has definitely suffered because what's the date today I don't even it's the 28th that's that's right it's the 28th because Emily turned 10 months old yesterday. Yeah, you turned 10 months old and you would have seen footage. We went to a duck pond, didn't we? It was so fun. And I took the most adorable picture of her. <laughs> Only two months until she turns one. I cannot believe how fast. I know. I can't believe it either, Emily. It's just going so fast. And all of a sudden, she's just learning how to do all these things. Like, she can walk. She walks while holding onto the bed and the couch. Um, she can clap, she can wave, she says mama and dada. She does this sometimes, it is the cutest thing. When I ask her where daddy, where, where did daddy go? She goes, oh, <laughs> it's so cute. So yeah, um, how many days does May have? But goals, I am going to finish this. I'm going to finish it. I don't know where I'm up to. Honestly, I probably don't have that. I probably have like maybe a hundred ish pages left, but honestly, like I'm bored at this point. I think it's too long and it's starting to drag and I'm, I just want something to happen. <laughs> and I don't know if I'll finish anything else this month. I am going to, I am going to start Warbreaker though. Well, I did start it already, but I'm going to continue with Warbreaker because I have to because I'm buddy reading it. Luckily, the Sanderson book that we're reading next month is not that long, so I'll just have to cram it in. And I've come up with a punishment idea if I don't finish my TBR. Um, so my TBR game that I play, Deck of TBR, if I pick out the Joker, I have to read my one of my bomb books, which is a huge intimidating book. Now, I actually took one of the Jokers out of the deck when I first started the game, so there was only a one in, how many cards are there, 52? Chance of uh, picking out the Joker. But as my punishment, if I don't read all the books on my previous TBR, I have to add the second Joker into the deck. So there's more of a chance <laughs> that I'll get the one book. Cause I don't want it to be too big of a punishment. And I think that'd be kind of fun. Hello, Oscar says hi. Um, I have not read anything <laughs> since I updated you last. Because I am in mourning over that show. Is that funny? It wasn't funny for mommy. It was very sad. But Emily and I went to the library um, for no particular reason. And I got two books out, which I really shouldn't have done. But <laughs> here we are. So I got Yona of the Dawn Volume 7, which I have borrowed out before, but I just 
didn't get to it in time and I had to return it, but I reborrowed it. And maybe I can fit this in before the end of the month to just get another book read because I have not read many books this month. <laughs> and then I also borrowed out Ghost Bird by Lisa Fuller. Um, this is my friend Kirsty's. I think it was her favourite book of last year. It's by an Aboriginal author and it is a, I believe it's a YA thriller. But yeah, apparently it's really amazing. So I, 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 don't, I don't have time to read it, but yeah. Anyway, so it's Saturday. This is a glitter stick. Emily and I just went to the park and now I'm waiting for her to get tired. That's mummy's pen. I don't want to eat it. Oh, but thank you. So, hi Blackie. Blackie, I feel like you haven't been in the vlog in ages. Say hello to everybody. Emily. <laughs> Did you find the camera? Say hello everybody. Hello everybody. Whoop. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Mm hmm Wow, fascinating stuff. Good morning. I'm in my bluey pajamas. <laughs> I'm puffed. <laughs> so I am about to start prepping for the most ginormous book haul I've ever filmed in my life. <laughs> because I haven't filmed a book haul since like November. <laughs> so we've got like six months of books to haul. Um, so I'm going to start getting them all out. And cry so please join me on this journey of tears okay excuse the mess that Emily's made on the floor but this <laughs> is my book haul this is just physical books um, yeah I also have a ton of ebooks and audiobooks but I'm gonna do a separate haul for those but this is actually not too bad for six months worth? It's not too bad. Not too bad. Also considering that the first two stacks were books that were gifted to me or sent to me and these two stacks I bought myself. What do you think, Emily? It's not too bad, right? For six months. Oh, that's a stinky poo you just did. And you've got dried cereal all over your face. We've got some cleaning up to do. Okay, hello. From us, the messy room, and the giant trash bag. <laughs> um, we just came back from the shops. Yeah, we did. And I bought Emily a bunch of new toys because it was just time. We just needed new toys. So I'm going to show you what we got. And they were all like really, really, really cheap from Kmart. Yes. Oh, thank you. She always shares her food with me. It's so sweet. I love you so much. Do you want to open your new toys? Also, I bought a dress. It's pink. So, and I bought some cute socks as well. Okay, toys. Also, I just want to preface this by saying that, yes, the majority of these um, say like 18 months plus or whatever, but don't worry, I always supervise her when she's playing with this stuff. And I didn't get stuff that was like too advanced for her or too dangerous. Um, so yeah, I'm not an irresponsible mum, okay? Um, okay, so first we got these building blocks. They're like huge Legos, basically. This one does say 18 months plus. Then we got a truck, a fire truck, a wooden fire truck, um, just because... Why not? And then we also got a unicorn. Next, we got some Disney Winnie the Pooh wooden toys. This is also 18 months plus, so I'll go through and see if any are too small before I give them to her. But I just thought these were super cute. Then we have 
a musical instrument set. I'm so excited about this. Then we also have a dump truck um, shape sorter vehicle toy. Um, at the moment she loves like putting things inside other things like I have a basket in the bedroom where I put all of the used bottles after we're done and then I take it downstairs. She, like, I find the most random stuff in there because she just picks stuff up and puts it in. She thinks it's so fun. So hopefully this will be fun for her. And the last thing is also a musical, but the main reason I got it is because it's got these balls on the top. And she loves like playing with balls and like putting them in the holes and stuff. Um, yeah, we got all of this for like under $85 or something, which is honestly a bargain. So I'm going to open some of these now and see what she thinks. And it's going to be a grand old time. Hello. It is now night time. I'm always playing a fun game on the iPad, which is a game for cats <laughs> where you catch the fish. <laughs> is it fun? Um... Emily started taking her second nap late, so it means she's going to bed later, which is great, which means she wakes up later in the morning, which is awesome. So yeah, we're just hanging out, but I wanted to update you because during her second nap, I finished playing Bad Heroines and I am so disappointed. The first half was like really good, like four stars, maybe even five stars. The second half is like two stars. The ending was so unsatisfying and stupid and I was confused like the whole time. I just didn't really like it and I'm really sad. So I ended up giving it like a 2.5. Um, so we officially only have one day left in the month. So I, I don't know what to do. Should I just keep reading Warbreaker or should I pick up something that was on my TBR that's smaller maybe I can get through it in a day which is probably not gonna happen I don't know maybe maybe I'll just try and fit in like Yona of the Dawn or something because I've only read six things this month and two of those were picture books <laughs> but I did read two like over 600 page books but still eh. I don't know what to do. Ooh. Okay, I think that's what I'll do. I'll try and read Yona of the Dawn Volume 7. And just keep reading Warbreaker. Good plan, everybody. <laughs> end the vlog. Is it time to end the vlog? Is it? <laughs> what are you doing? Look at your teeth. Wow. Oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> You're so clever waving. Yes, that's the camera. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, <laughs> it's time to end the vlog. Um, but first, I just want to shout out um, my new friend. <laughs> Her name is Shani and she is an Australian booktuber. And she recently did a video reading my favourite books. Like... <laughs> I'm so honoured. She has a son who is a week older than Amelie, so we have been chatting a lot about motherhood and yes, our experiences. Yes. So I'd really appreciate it if you went and checked out her channel. Um, yeah. So I ended up reading a grand total of eight books for the month. Um, let me show you. So here's what I read. Um, not very impressive at all. 
Um, this is the picture book I ended up reading to Emily and she loved it because it's lift the flap and it's so cute. So yeah, this is everything I read. I mean, I did read a couple of chunky books, but not the best reading month to be honest but that is gonna be it for this reading vlog i hope you all enjoyed it and i will see you soon with a new video <laughs> goodbye hello <laughs> hello it is a very long time later like midway through june <laughs> so everyone's our crate junior boxes for last month came late because they had trouble getting an item um so i thought i'd just tack this on to the end of this vlog even though it's already so long i'm so sorry i'm also so sorry you're seeing this so late you can probably tell i'm sick um amelie's been sick um so i haven't really had time to edit yeah it's been really hard right so yeah we're gonna open the Our Crate Junior box for last month and then I promise this vlog will be over. So Our Crate sent this to me as usual. Let's open it. So, ah uh, yes, so this is the replacement notice that they put out um, because they had trouble getting an item. They replaced it with something else. But the theme is sagas and swords. We've got lots of wormies in here, so Emily will be very happy about that. What are all these? Okay, so this is the item that wasn't originally going to be in the box, but it is a little magnetic bookmark from Crafted Van. It's so cute! So this is from Odd and the Frost Giants. Don't know what that is, but there you go. Next we have some Viking Saga sticky notes. Look how cute these are. Look at them. Oh my gosh, adorable. I see cats. I see cats. Oh my gosh, it's a book sleeve. Look at this gloriousness. Holy dooly. Oh my gosh, this is the coolest. I'm obsessed. Oh my gosh. Wow, I'm definitely going to use this all the time. That's so awesome. Then we have an extra little book in here called So You Want To Be A Viking. And it seems like it's a, it's a little like information and activity book. Emily's having a lot of fun with these wormies. She's finally stopped like trying to eat them and she's just playing with them. Okay, the last thing for the book are these little Loki and Thor like cut out figurines that you can make. Um, to be honest, they look kind of creepy like this. I mean, look at the teeth. <laughs> okay, the book, oh my gosh, I love this cover. This is The Last Shadow Warrior by Sam Subati. Oh my gosh, this is such a cool sticker. <laughs> look at that, that's awesome. We've got a letter from the author there. Oh, I absolutely love this cover it's so gorgeous oh and look at the signature page cool okay so oh i love a two-tone color book what is this about an ancient enemy a deadly quest okay so it's about a girl who comes from a long line of elite viking warriors and it's her life's goal to hunt down these monsters just like her mother did before she died but there's one small problem uh, these monsters haven't been seen in centuries, so the Viking elders want to disband their uh, group forever. But there's a mysterious attack, and she's pretty sure it's these monsters that have returned. So she's try trying to like bring them all together to stop these ancient monsters. <sighs> that sounds so great. So here's the difference in covers. Oh, this is what the little figurines look like. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, and the theme for next month is Wondrous Worlds. And I already know what the book is. Exciting. So that is it for the unboxing. So thank you again, Alcrate and Alcrate Junior. And that is officially the real end of this vlog. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.